But better play how far. Hope see all my fine. Hope see all my cop fine. Today is another episode for better topo and for better topo today. We're going to go on a tour with some career actress, entrepreneur. His name is Stephanie Tum. So make sure to stay tuned. And just after the break, me and Stephanie will go on a better topo. Okay, graphic Yes. I'm a boy. Stephanie, how far? A day here for you. A day, a day. Why do you watch so? I like the red in pop. Man, looking good, <laughs> na good business, especially for my business. Yeah, what I do up for MB Glow, so I get for Glow. Don't be lying. People then come by. <laughs> <laughs> But also, if you keep natural hair, you don't, you don't go back to. No, I, I see keep natural hair, and I just say for make her more flexible. I use a lot of wigs, but when I day on my normal day today, I mm. just leave my natural hair out. I don't join the natural hair you gang. Don't join me. Yes. Hey. <laughs> All right. So me, I know you as actress and as entrepreneur. You be mommy, you know. So for any person we don't know, how you introduce yourself? I will say I be actress, producer, mm. entrepreneur, and a mother. Yes. And also. In my interior because I get my courses in two way yeah. I you know work yeah, on NGO. and stuff yeah MB right. Foundation okay so I mean how is that you know tell me about about how you did how you grow up you know because I mean you grow up that will be small this nothing is what you always want to do mm -hmm. or if you did like some of want to be doctor engineer that kind of thing there hmm. well tell me I grow up I actually be one study law because oh. a person will be very opinionated and mm -hmm. you know very strong will and all of that so I want to study law but Unfortunately, I take another route to I actually study management. Okay. I get a master's degree for management. Wow. And then immediately as I leave school, I get a job opportunity with an oil and gas company, Weatherford, mm -hmm. where I worked there for seven years. Wow. But within that period where I be work for the, I get my grandfather for industry, Agbo Gilbert, where he be always there for my back, they tell me, say, oh, you get selling phase, <laughs> join our industry, mm -hmm. you look like the type of person we feed there for our industry and all of that. So. I give them a try. Mm -hmm. So when I'm there on vacation, time I'll be work for weather for it, mm -hmm. I say, okay, my act one of the film then Pink Poison and Pink Poison being a my like first professional movie. Although time I'll be this school, I'll be don't do so small work up for some movie for Bamin that way, but it don't really be of big interest to me. But mm -hmm. time I do pink, pink poison, I was like, I think seen that thing this way I won't really do one. But you know, say money not the industry like that, mm -hmm. and I be get a really good job where they pay me fine mm -hmm. and all of that. So I be really day in between, I be caught up in between, and then mm -hmm. finally after seven years where I work for Weatherford, they do the same thing over and over, mm -hmm. you know. And then oil um, industry to oil and gas industry we go through some crisis. Yes. So I just decided that was in 2017. Mm -hmm. I just decided, say, well, you know what? Maybe na sign from God. Mm -hmm. I just use the opportunity, get back into movie industry full time, mm -hmm. start my production company because at the end of the day, I be business person. I always be business minded, so I always think like if I want the industry, mm -hmm. I don't want to be actress because mm -hmm. it get limitations. Them, exactly. I want to delve into film production and all of that because now for day with the money, money day. day, you mm -hmm. know. So that's why I come back to industry full time mm -hmm. for 2017. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. So how have you did come back? Because, I mean, no way you don't be out of some place where why you want to come back, new producer, don't surely be new producer, the way they don't surely know you. Mm -hmm. So how have you, how have you do for come back? Well, between um, 2013, mm -hmm. I've been shooting a film for 20, uh, no, 2011, mm -hmm. 2012. 2013, I shoot some film with um, Kanya Kwaibiri. Mm -hmm. So time I come back in industry for 2017, yes, uh, new faces, baby, don't they, directors and stuff like that. But I think they don't always know me because, I, I mean, I just get that grace to stand out. <laughs> <laughs> that way, no bragging. Yeah. But I just get that grace to stand out with them. They don't already know me. A lot of them want to work with me mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So the only challenge we I think say I face until I come back now, just the mentality shock because... Well, you don't work for corporate world for so long, mm -hmm. and you get this routine and the way we put they do things. Mm -hmm. This team kind work we it cannot be obliged me when I work together, mm -hmm. when I did together. You know this mm -hmm. kind of very professional, environment. very professional environment. And then I just come with some industry way. You know this order and uh, the order <laughs> of the day. You know mm -hmm. small kind of nonsense kind, petty kind, and then at the order of the day, mm -hmm. it, it will be a shock for me. And then. 
when you be opinionated or outspoken and that kind of thing is mm -hmm. like people they start look you that kind mm -hmm. they don't really be comfortable with them mm -hmm. so it rub them off the wrong way mm -hmm. so it was kind of a shock for me but it take me a little while for adjust mm -hmm. and i think say i don't really find my food today right now <laughs> yeah yeah, so you talk about the fact that you're very opinionated. And one, if it, like, now one of the major highlights the way people they know about you, like yeah. say, if you see something, you always talk your thing. Yeah. Whether that's for social media, whether yeah. that's for set, and all of that. Mm -hmm. And it don't make them, you, you, be, you be like a controversial personality because mm. when they say, okay, Stephanie, there's no like problem, you mm. don't always talk, mm. or if so, you know. So, like, how how that, that, that particular aspect of your personality? You feel say it affects your, maybe a your career and people around you. I don't you feel think people get misconception about. I think I think say I would say some people then be intimidated. Okay. Some people then be insecure, mm -hmm. and some people then they not just like somebody where he speak the truth because mm -hmm. with some industry where we get to actually you know pretend kiss ass yeah. you know kind of chook skin for false <laughs> friendship because if it's okay the person they shoot a project mm -hmm. my job chook skin will you be friend will you pretend so that mm -hmm. it will call me for a project and stuff like that but me i know be that kind of person and when you when you stand out and make yourself different from the others mm -hmm. people then will always want to term you as loud yeah. as controversial as this because no nothing with they they be open minded for accept and they're not just used to and mm -hmm. they know one time. Mm -hmm. So they will try to like suppress your voice, suppress you. But yeah. me a person will be very level handed headed. Mm -hmm. I know what I be. Mm -hmm. So I know if you easily be intimidated. I don't even kiss no my ass That's... because I come back into the industry very strong. Mm -hmm. I know come back for come no, take shortcuts or I be desperate, or I beg some person say, where put me for your film, mm -hmm. or my be friend with you, so that may put me for your film, mm -hmm. and stuff like that, or I be thirsty, or I be hungry, because mm -hmm. some people, they're not longer, and, yeah. and hungry for me, but they worry them for industry <laughs> too, now either they form this kind of friendship, then, you mm -hmm. know, so, I don't feel really say I be controversial, no, I would mm -hmm. say I be opinionated, and you know, they sit fine with some, some people, people then, yeah, that's okay. what I would say. All right, then, I mean, plenty of beefs then, but I have a beef, oh, the value don't talk, say this person don't do this thing, you know, because you need to hide your talk. When, when you no, if, if I get an issue with some person mm -hmm. and I get to address them, I address yes. and call out your name. Yes. I know see why I get to the true subliminal talks talk them or shades them or stuff like that. Person. Let's say I fear you. I'm, I need to fear you because if you come out to say anything against me or to do something against me, it means if you face me just mm -hmm. as if you face you. Mm -hmm. So why would get to take that rule them? And nothing that I talk again, mm -hmm. most people I know be used to. That's so right. when you be that kind of person where you just come out and you just talk the thing the way it did, mm -hmm. it start like, ooh, why industry start shake and mm -hmm. you know, but hey, man, listen, <laughs> I feel standing heat for the kitchen, so I don't need to bother. <laughs> So people, the way they're out of the industry, they, they look at like, see, one of the issues, the way it is inside, like, movie industry, say, we not be united for inside movie industry, say, plenty comes a day, put it the way, and they pretend, because, say, they want to deal with this person, because mm -hmm. maybe favors and all that kind mm -hmm, of thing. Mm -hmm. So what's your opinion about this, this issue of disunity inside movie industry? Well, I mean, I, I feel like inside any company, mm -hmm. inside any entertainment industry. industry around the world, you always get that disunity factor we, I mean, but for entertainment industry, I think it'd be more pronounced, especially what industry, because now na, na a young industry way, you know, will not really be that plenty. Plenty is just they know really day. Okay. So when the small one, the way one always come out, it always be about disunity, the person, the fight, the person, the person, the beef, the person, the person, the this. Mm -hmm. Now the image that way people, they get them, because they will not get other plenty, good, good thing that they happen yeah. way, if he actually suppress them. Mm -hmm. But I believe, say, they for all industry, then, because, I mean, would read tabloids and for other industry, then Congo the blogs thing, and for yeah. other industry. The same thing they happen. I just say they get plenty good thing they happen where it's like eighty percent the good thing that then twenty percent the bad thing. Mm -hmm. But for we and the opposite. <laughs> so now that side they for our side, all money mm -hmm. seen at that side, you know. Yeah. So I mean and as it did so we they see that eighty percent of the bad side when the disunity, the beef and the Pfizer and all of that, it actually make and think they need the thing they be stuck now for our industry. Yeah. Thing they need really grow like that because investors they fear mm -hmm. for can't invest their money. So they put their fetch across so if I can't put my money inside it thing, so it go go. Companies that they fear for actually even work with we self. Mm. You know, so it make it really be no, that's some good thing. Yeah. I mean, we know if all we know if be friends. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. fact. Mm -hmm. All we know if be friends, mm -hmm. but at least we we'll feel be civil. Mm -hmm. You know, we we'll feel um, be diplomatic, mm -hmm. especially for sell the face who are industry for some positive way. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. So tell me about your first production, Saving Bango. Oh, Saving Bango, like Saving Bango, like my baby. You yeah. know when you born your first speaking and stuff like that, but mm -hmm. I'm a production baby, that's so. So I shoot Saving Bango for 2000 and is it 19? Mm. Yes, 2019 for Mondoni. Wow, village. During the heat, Mondoni village for Southwest, during the heat of the crisis. Mm. I carried 35 people, them cast and crew, go for that village. Village where no water, no DVD, no ah. portable water, mm -hmm. no electricity, mm. no hotels or anything. Mm. We began to go rain so my company with people every day for day. They move all that people them because it rains within a two to five <laughs> for one month. We can say we'll pay five five thousand for two weeks so now fifteen days we'll begin with every day. They mm -hmm. move all that people every day. We'll rain the ass, we'll fix the ass, buy the plastic carpet, they put up for floor, buy mattress and put them. That house now we've been on our house for the oh, for the next fifteen days. Wow. We we'll stay for the old sleep for floor, with we'll the wash for river mungo, that river, with we'll the work cargo move for we'll our clothes, enter water, we'll wash, do all thing. And at the end of the day, it'd be one of my best experiences and because yeah. uh, even though we face some challenges and because of lack of the portable water, electricity, all that kinds in a way, it actually like almost triple my cost of production. Mm. But I shoot an amazing movie. Mm -hmm. And I feel there talks in one of the movies and we actually changed the trajectory of how people then see home movies then now for Cameroon and mm -hmm. because of the social media bursts where we get them. Mm -hmm. And just how relatable and how good the movie be there. Mm -hmm. You know, it really like make things and shake back for industry and then make people then start belief back again for team what they do. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. All right, so we'll take some short break and then we'll come back. We are Stephanie, we'll continue longer on a better talk. Okay, so, and Semi Bangola, one of the first Cameroonian movies that we get like sponsorship from one of the big, big telecommunication brand name. And we have some scarce scenes that we would yeah. not see them before. Like, we actually do movie premiere for, mm -hmm. I think, four cities. We we'll do movie premiere for four cities, um, Douala, Boya, Yaoundé, and Bamenda. Mm -hmm. And if I tell you how the thing happened, I talk, say, God, no be man. Okay. And you always talk because I think say if that that big com telecommunications company be come for industry can say and hey, we define producer way who are supposed to a film. No man will ever come at him. <laughs> but you see, I just sleep Sunday from morning to one woke up. Mm. I receive call from this company say, Oh, the one work with me, that they try for like, you know, start work with um movie people mm -hmm. them and stuff like that. And they want to use me like their lead most test to start the 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 whole thing. And I was wow. like why would I choose me? Now the first thing that we come my mom because I'd, I'd be really be shocked. So I was like, why would I choose me? Mm -hmm. I said no because we don't see the best way the film they already create. I'm uh, online on mm -hmm. social media, you know, and people mm -hmm. their reaction to the film and we think saying that the, one of the big films that this way will come out this year, if not the biggest. So mm -hmm. one start work with Una. Wow. I was like, Jesus, they give me <laughs> appointment, I come for office, can discuss everything mm -hmm. and all of that. They just tell me, tell me what you want to do for the premiere, what to be a vision. Mm -hmm. I just give them for them. And that was it. 100% sponsor. I don't even spend even 100. Wow. You know, it's it mean for producer where you don't already put your money inside some project and then some company just can like, just take the project like That's that, right. just take up another level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel only be grateful for God because no, not by man, but by God. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah. So, and then after, after the premiere, I think it began for premiere for America. It began for premiere for America, but because of COVID, oh, no. I actually get for America. Mm -hmm. And then two days after, it was like lockdown. lockdown. So, no few premiere. So, because it been a lockdown, a lot of people, they spend time for house, oh. all that. So, me mm -hmm. and my co-executive producer, because I know co-executive produce Saving Bango alone. Okay. Since I know we get all the budget for producer alone, mm -hmm. I call on the partner, we come in 40%, okay. 60% from my side, and we do an amazing production. Mm -hmm. So, we should not think, see, matter, we lost all the money, so because we don't really be sold out on tickets. Wow. Yes. Wow. For the for the two cities for for Maryland and for for uh, for DC and for Chicago, mm. we don't race out on tickets. So I call you, I actually say, hey, oh, we go do now how mm -hmm. because we get to start refunding people then back their money. All thing do me. He tell me say if we actually put the movie on Amazon Prime, Prime. Okay. me then go buy the movie for the mm -hmm. watch them. Mm -hmm. With that excitement, people they every day for Canada they want watch them. People they every day across US where they want watch them. 
they just get so excited. Mm -hmm. See, even though they feel they know if you attend that premiere, they now they feel sit at the comfort of their house, watch, watch her. Mm -hmm. That's so put them. And listen, we'll, we'll be one of the highest viewed Cameroon films on Amazon and not wow. on like the free movie you get for pay. Mm -hmm. We'll make quite some decent money. Wow. We'll not lose during that COVID period, that six month period where we'll be shut down. Mm -hmm. We'll use that period to we'll act smart and we'll make some decent money. Even though I never make all the money we uh, yeah, uh, invest for saving Bango, but I know if you should don't cry, say, oh, you know, I never mm -hmm. at least make some reasonable thing where yeah. I feel talk, say, okay, we don't try. Mm -hmm. While at the wait, say, make some good distribution company pick up the film and, you know, sell them so, for other oh. platforms and mm -hmm. make people then feel get more access to the film. Mm -hmm. I know if you really the cry, say, yo, yo, I never sell saving Bango, yeah. this, I don't try, yeah. <laughs> Wow. So any other movie project you cover for MV Productions? Yes. So right now, I'll be taking a break on production because, see, like I talk, I'll be a business person. Mm -hmm. And things I never make back all my return mm -hmm. on investment for saving Bango, mm -hmm. I decided, say, okay, I'll go take a break. Mm -hmm. I'll go invest more on my acting career. Okay. And then once the film, they don't come out and you don't give me more exposure, create more bursts, mm -hmm. I go piggyback on that exposure and then mm -hmm. I move into my next production, okay. knowing fully well, say, what industry to the group. Exactly. Netflix don't come in. Mm -hmm. Amazon Prime 2 don't come, come in. in. A lot of other platforms, and they come in. Mm -hmm. I think, say, at that time, I go don't build a good fan base, good following, you know, mm -hmm. these people, they overthink of numbers and yeah. stuff like, you have to grow your numbers, grow your fan base. Mm -hmm. At least that time, now, I go stand out a chance where a fish on top table get correct, Money conversation. conversation with numbers the way the back up. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. So yeah. um in the meantime you 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 know you only you know get MB productions, you get your MB Glow, Skincare Line, mm -hmm. you get your NGO, MB Charity Foundation, MB yeah. Foundation. So tell me about MB Glow Skin K Line. So <laughs> that was you know the glow sees what no you see what no, I don't think I don't need glow. <laughs> but you understand say for glow mm -hmm. you need for how they talk and maintain them. Mm -hmm. You need to maintain them. Mm -hmm. So that I come back from America, seeing them is slow for industry. Yeah. You know, say the honest truth, I see what industry need to give some kind of money. Where if you say if you live so over kind comfortable lifestyle right. on that money, mm -hmm. I did talk for myself because mm -hmm. I mean any man get he, he mm -hmm. level and way way he want live. But mm -hmm. for me, I get my picking them, mm -hmm. I get my bills them, mm -hmm. I get family to where they count on me. Mm -hmm. So film no fee really take care of all things for me. Do now so they don't start really pay fine because mm -hmm. if I talk say they never start pay fine, I would be lie. Mm -hmm. I don't shoot seven films and within August till now we I feel really talk say they don't really they don't really try. They wow. really pay fine way. Be encouraging for you for who cut out. Say, okay, even if I know, even if I don't do anything this month, I go ask some one film, at least I figure some money way. I feel, we'll you know, it. for cover yeah. some certain things. But I come back during that time, industry be slow. So I was like, okay, I don't try make some of the money for Amazon Prime and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Wait till I feel, do. do. A lot of people, they always come from my inbox and ask, oh, wait till your skincare regime, mm -hmm. wait till you use, all that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So I said, the smart thing for me to do, I will sell a product way I feel represent that product. Exactly. I will sell a product where people them they use them mm -hmm. almost every, every day. day. You know, that kind of product, you know, if you miss for say. Mm -hmm. So I say, okay, wait till I feel invest in I'll invest in skincare. I'll be passionate about wow. skincare. I'll be skincare enthusiast. So I see how I feel invest my money for skincare. Mm -hmm. My fine person way it be an expert already, collaborate with learn, mm -hmm. see as the process good day, mm -hmm. you know, use myself like guinea pig mm -hmm. if it work out. Then I will start the business, and I saw I start MB Glow, and MB Glow don't be like for a year now. Mm -hmm. It don't do really well. Wow. The only problem was again I seen an online shop. Okay. So if you only buy online mm -hmm. through our website and mm -hmm. or you know other through our WhatsApp customer service and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So Cameroonians they never really over been used to that online, online buying kind of thing. <laughs> Eighty percent of my clients and then have diaspora. Mm -hmm. Twenty percent here. Wow. So wait till the thing for do this year, God willing, before the year end, mm -hmm. I will actually open a working shop for Cameroon so that my people then feel feel working, meet on me for this, to mm -hmm. real me, we we'll discuss about their skin problem. Mm -hmm. I recommend the way to the feels, mm -hmm. you know, and then try to grow the business too for years so that might get a balance, maybe fifty fifty, exactly. you know. Exactly. So that's it for MV Globe. Wow. <laughs> and the MV Charity, which which inspire them? Because I know they are really inspire MV Charity. Yeah. So I mean, I just want to do something for at least impact, you know, my community, mm -hmm. and I want to do something where, you know, it could just keep 
Marimi illegacy, mm -hmm. you know, like a life, even if not just within me and mm -hmm. if, you know, for other people, they were able to touch their lives, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, so I start MB Foundation. It used to be MB Charity, but we don't change it now to MB Foundation as we work towards starting back what this thing, what activities then this year. So MB Foundation, okay. uh, a four-purpose NGO way, it work towards making sure see young girls them get um, sa um, access to sanitary pads mm -hmm. and they be able to stay in school. So not all for a girl child, not all for women, and also women empowerment, because the way to try for do now as we start with activities too, now see as we go for the communities and so mm -hmm. for teach young girls them on menstruation, menstrual mm -hmm. hygiene, give them free sanitary pads, mm -hmm. disposable and reusable sanitary pads. Mm -hmm. We will try to will teach them to do other things the way they feed, you know, sustain themselves financially for wow. empower them. So mm -hmm. Now the mission that every year would try to grow. Mm -hmm. I the hope say maybe in the next five years to ten years we'll feel work towards actually getting pad banks in for schools and especially government schools and we mm -hmm. on the privileged picking that they go for this so mm -hmm. that may them get direct access to so, but, sanitary pads. They would try to work with other organizations them mm -hmm. and government. So would they on that negotiation process now and hopefully we'll get onto the next level and we'll feed impact so many girls them and make sure they stay for school. Wow, nice. Yeah. So, for we we'll go back for film industry because I mean the juice thing I've done. Yeah, but they will know you more. Yes. So wait, wait, see, wait, see. Like if you get for make some recommendation for the public, like for people already really watch it, wait, see, we will do for support the camera movie industry. I think the so, wait, see, public we actually do for support. Cameroon film industry and I say when films then come out when I at least go for the premieres and go watch them mm -hmm. um, they put the films in for platform maybe like Amazon so Netflix when I go they go watch them because mm -hmm. one thing I say if we are filmed in different Netflix I will not get subscribers in for Cameroon mm -hmm. where they watch what? the film where mm -hmm. the shows that they are watching are from Cameroon mm -hmm. when I borrowed accounts them because mm -hmm. I mean, we'll, give, we'll be really be guilty of that borrowed <laughs> account. Then. If people, then, if you actually subscribe for Netflix, get their own account then for Netflix, where when they drop film for Netflix, it reflects for their algorithm, say, That's would they watch film they from watch Cameroon? Then they will not say potential market day for Cameroon. Mm -hmm. And they go come buy more films them because a business. Mm -hmm. They go come buy more films mm -hmm. them, mm -hmm. put them for the. Mm -hmm. That way, the public where they cry say they don't get access to our films them. Mm -hmm. They go fish see our film them for that platform them. Mm -hmm. And then the public where they blast we say we'll be able to all get money. <laughs> we'll film make money, money, live that lifestyle way that other people them where they live for other countries, the African countries where they mm -hmm. live them. Mm -hmm. We we'll live the lifestyle so that way they feel brag to we know. They feel, they feel brag to we. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. Or. Oh, Made them subscribe to for the local platforms and call local platforms and they will pay with Momo mm -hmm. and with MC. They never pay me to do their advertisement. So, mm -hmm. but if you Google and on Google say platforms to watch Cameroon movies, mm -hmm. you go see them for the. Mm -hmm. If they go for the, they go Google and pay with your Momo. You watch. You watch the movie. Mm -hmm. Now 300 to pay that 300, they go cut maybe some. So on 75 or 100 for day, mm -hmm. for we. Mm -hmm. it makes sense. It makes sense if plenty of people buy If plenty of people then buy, na plenty money. Yeah. So me then go out there, try to watch what film, they may attend what premiere. Cinema, they only open for Cameroon. Mm -hmm. You get two cinemas and big cinemas and oh, three cinemas and mm -hmm. big cinemas and we did Duala now. Mm -hmm. Where they don't start show Cameroon film, they not only Anglophone film, they Francophone film, then too. Mm -hmm. When I go watch them, because mm -hmm. we soon now Anglophone, they don't start act for their film, them. Mm -hmm. Then too, they act for our film, them. Yeah. We don't do collaboration mm -hmm. them. So make public just go out there, support our cinema, make grow. Exactly. And as they grow, now so we will grow. They grow. And they will create even employment too for more people there. Exactly. Exactly. So it go all around, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So as women inside film industry, wait see wait to be the highest challenge with the face up. Because, you know, plenty of conception they day. So Stephanie not fine gay. So of course it go get in the easy because it's uh -huh, fine. Uh -huh, so uh -huh. we'll you know, <laughs> You know, so that that conception the day <laughs> about that, so how it don't be for you because we know the way we live there, even for mm. different industry then when mm -hmm. women start with money front, it will be difficult. And when the industry, the male dominated industry, oh, yeah. man picking the past woman, yeah. usually for the executive level. Yes. So how it don't be for you? Well, for me, right, mm -hmm. I know we really get difficult. Okay. I know we really get difficult, and I don't know on which factor it play. 
-hmm. Whether not the way I be carrying myself, whether not because say I find, whether not because say you know I be be talented. Mm -hmm. I don't know on which grounds it be be easy on me, but mm -hmm. for me it be be easy for me for coming, mm -hmm. and it don't be very easy for me to throw out the process for like maintain a certain level where the man picking there they respect me mm -hmm. because one thing to not say. When you stand for ground, mm -hmm. you know what you do, you know your onions, they mm -hmm. respect you. Yeah. But when you come, the one makes on desperate kinds in them. So man, picking and they lay, man picking and they lay predators, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You will become their prey or prey on you, they go use you. Mm -hmm. So now, how you position yourself, now how you put yourself, if you come desperate, they go mash you mm -hmm. and they go use you or they go take advantage of you. Mm -hmm. But if you come knowing fully where which you bring to the table, they go respect you. Yeah. Now just so it did, not only for film industry, all side. for all side, mm -hmm. now so it did. Yeah. Now so it did. A man picking they go always one take advantage. Just as some woman in two go one take, take advantage. advantage. More not only put them on man picking, I've got woman in this way, they you see small fine boy in two industry exactly. where they one and two, they go one take two advantage. advantage. You understand? So yes. I mean hey, but more men do mm -hmm. woman in two, they get their own, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we'll take some short break and then we'll come back. We and Stephanie will continue to on a better top <laughs> All right, so we'll talk about your family life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll talk about your family life. You know, we'll not say you'll be Remy. We'll mm -hmm. not say you'll be not married. I don't mm -hmm. know how far. Mm -hmm. But I still be married because, you know. So tell me about your family life and how you manage for, for family, how you take care of your picking them, and how you manage your business. Well, I mean, for that married palava, I'm not going to talk anything because see, I don't want to talk anything about that. So I want me people to speculate, talk with they want to talk, you know, concern me. <laughs> Um, for my picking them, I get two adorable boys, and now a little girl when I'm a small brother I picking with, I don't adopt her. She's so adorable. I love her so much. So I feel say I get three picking and now two boys and a girl, okay. and um, ah, you know, easy, you know, easy for balance work mm -hmm. and picking them. Yeah. It never ever be easy because even when I be start work for Weatherford, I be mm -hmm. already get my first son. My first son is 17 years. He just turned 17, he just turned 17 years. Mm -hmm. It never be, be easy. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I think say it be actually prepare me for the place where I did it now because I start learning very, very early mm -hmm. how to balance work and family mm -hmm. because of my first son, mm -hmm. you know. So right now, if you talk say my picking and my priority, mm -hmm. first and foremost, before any work, before any business, yeah. but I did try to give you know a balance for everything what they do so that me no one will suffer from the other, yeah. you know. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, my picking and my priority mm -hmm. they be always the first on the list, and then my career, my business, fee always follow behind, that. yeah. Wow, so how I mean, if any man way they look up to Stephanie, say, I want the lady girl, mm. I want the lady girl, say, <laughs> which advice you give? It's not easy. It's <laughs> not lots of sleepless nights, lots of attacks, lots of sometimes crying in the middle of the night because say, you don't even know how the next day will be. Mm -hmm. Because say, when you deal with picking them, you leave for that picking them. Mm -hmm. You work hard every day for that picking them. You make sure so you want to call the next day so miss until show hate because it's until no show hate. Mm -hmm. You get people there that will stand and look you with their puppy eyes and so <laughs> and you get for answer to them. You don't know what yeah. to do. So it not really be easy. Mm -hmm. You get for be fearless. You get for be consistent. You get for be persistent. Mm -hmm. You get to go out there face war every day, mm -hmm. working hard every day and making sure Say nothing where any person think about you mm -hmm. or say about you could make a me ever doubt who you be. Yeah. Because say if you deliver me people then live rent free inside your head, you know ever live the life where you get to live on for yourself and you know ever do it you get to do one. Lie. Yeah. Lie. So you talk about attacks them. Tell me about the attacks the way. Mama, you don't know from the bloggers <laughs> there to the colleagues them. <laughs> To the, the, the village people then, <laughs> you know, easy, you know, easy. <laughs> now, all around attacks, but I mean, I know if you only talk to bloggers, they attack me because, say, if I didn't place who I did today, mm -hmm. I get to give like a big part of the credit for bloggers, and because and, and then the work I pay bloggers and send me them blog about me, talk about me, mm -hmm. promote me, or stuff like that. Yeah. So, it get a good and a bad side, but at the end of the day, wait till I learn inside the industry, see, 
the game with bloggers and I say good promotion or bad promotion are you get for use your sense for know how to use that situation for promote yes. yourself because at the end of the day when the bloggers they talk about you whether positive or negative these people then they come out come for your blog for your page. page when they come for your page they feel decide either for stay we'll become stay. your lawyer followers them or for go them back mm -hmm. or whatever so now you now get for use your sense now for conv co like convert them for become your followers them mm -hmm. for convince them say now who are be this mm -hmm. you talk and real narrative yes you we talk your own narratives because mm -hmm. me no man will tell me how me I be on oh, my narrative. No, na ya own that with the way they talk about. But when they go come from my page, now who this will be? Mm -hmm. So the one day they want believe what you talk, remember for the it, it be okay. Yeah. The one day they want come for this side, believe say okay, this person now human being, he get he flaws them, but he get so many positive things mm -hmm. and true about it. And I think see. I feel learn one or two things and just mm -hmm. from following me or you know, I feel come for a page be inspired, I feel come for a page laugh, I feel mm -hmm. come for a page, you know, just get my small cruise, catch my cruise and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Then hey, so for me right now as I talk, I don't grow for the industry. Mm -hmm. From twenty seventeen where I come to twenty twenty two right now, mm -hmm. I think I don't learn for understand certain things and I don't just understand say it's entertainment is a game. Sometimes yeah. you win, sometimes you mm -hmm. lose, sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. Mm -hmm. And not just your character that define who you be throughout all those moments. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So recently you you know you don't remember so you don't you don't feature for like seven movies there. Yes. I see for someone who came mm -hmm. over. Mm -hmm. So I uh, I don't I don't feature for for seven films them. Um, one way I go actually shoot up in Nigeria. Oh, wow. The name na Rose Tree, na so our sister we did for UK name na Bronjo a producer. Mm -hmm. I come back Cameroon feature for another one Love Trap we na so our sister we did Germany mm -hmm. can producer uh, McLean. And then I do the Planters Plantation mm -hmm. with Kemo mm -hmm. with uh, some young filmmaker from Cameroon. Mm -hmm. Einstein Young, now he produced that one. Yeah. I do Macarena the Dancing Girl with a Solange Ojong producer. Mm -hmm. I do um, Silent Storm with a soda young um, filmmaker for Limbe Frank mm -hmm. Peters, now he produced them. And then I do one of my most amazing projects, the way I'd really with me come out when mm -hmm. I one character movie with Musin Derek. Okay. Fantastic, fantastic film. Mm -hmm. I'd wait to me come out. And Against the Wind with Neba Lawrence. So mm -hmm. I don't do seven films, them, all fantastic projects, big budget movies, them. Mm -hmm. So I did your praise. You know, make all the movie them, the make them catch, you know, catch some good <laughs> deal, make all them come on. And if you wait for audience, if you watch me for these different movies them. Wow. And um, see how you play the different characters. See how they play different characters, <laughs> in which I'll be so excited because I never ever challenged myself in industry. So I think that the first time is why I don't really invest myself in my acting career like this. So mm -hmm. I hope see everything work out right mm -hmm. so that I feel use the success of that bring her into my producer yes, side, yes. produce my own blockbuster film yeah, too, exactly. you know, so yeah. So I believe for work with people like Kemowo, or for work with, you know, these Nigerians, or for work with, you know, people that will be like seniors mm -hmm. for inside the business. I think it would be amazing. One of the most important things and what things, the lessons they want to learn from these people, they know how humble they be. Mm -hmm. The very down to earth, no matter the success where they all achieve them, mm -hmm. most of them are legends, look like Kanayo, you, can you, maybe they for against the wind, mm -hmm. came oh, mm -hmm. um, Eina, mm -hmm. um, I mean, just so many of them, mm -hmm. they just be so, so humble, down to earth, ready for like teach we, things mm -hmm. the way they feel, so we improve on, mm -hmm. even for our social media, mm -hmm. the young ones that they tell we, because now the young ones they now for Nigeria, they get these big numbers there, now they don't have really use social media, mm -hmm. and they tell we how, hey, when you go someplace, you go do any activity, mm -hmm. uh, activity, take videos, mm -hmm. take pictures, post for your social media, your fans, they want to know with their activities, the way you do and day to day, all those kind of things. Mm -hmm. Mona, no, just she don't so, just the fees, people who can't follow, now, when I get for the gift and content, mm -hmm. you know, back to back, yeah. brand yourself, mm -hmm. because the way people then see you, Mm -hmm. Now so they go take, take you. You. Mm -hmm. you know they for social media for kind of type and see you the suffer. Mm -hmm. No man will be interested. All man gets difficult mm -hmm. for life. Exactly. Look good because people they like for say good thing, they like for dream. Mm -hmm. And entertainers they wanna sell, sell dream. dream. Mm -hmm. Na show business, when I get for show. Yeah. Yeah. So you know they teach we all the kind of thing them. Wow. They tell we have to really put ourselves out there, which is really amazing. And each time we I get a project where I know see some foreign at the camp there and stuff, I look forward because it's not just the excitement for go the corner you work for said, but wait till I feel learn from me, pick them, use them for myself for mm -hmm. grow too. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
All right. Thank you plenty for the time we will spend our week. Thank we'll you. Get some gifts for you. Ooh, I like give them. Oh, <laughs> eh, eh. Yes, oh, oh better like people. <laughs> <laughs> Before you go, I want to I want to make you tell me this thing. People the way they get a conception say the the major thing way filmmakers that they do or say oh, all actresses them mm -hmm. people they drop it and say okay all actresses them most of that get them as they shine so that because mm -hmm. they follow people they follow people they master them mm -hmm. or you know you know basically say that they sell their body they will make money ah, which you know? one they need follow no matter what <laughs> man who can die <laughs> so man who can die for you. yes we follow yes I follow I be sick hey. as I find so man in any brain or nasty way see <laughs> now, which kind of top that? <laughs> or maybe now because you would have a public highway, I mean, say, okay, we are owners, say, well, people they watch your skin for day or some kind of. Me, I'm first of all, some private person. Mm -hmm. So even if I date my relationship, they ever really date out there. No, not sadly, hide me, I need hide no notes in bed. Mm -hmm. I need the. I need the like worker because at the end of the day, I sell on myself on social media because of my profession. Mm -hmm. I need to sell on my relationship oh, where at the end of the day, if it work, it work. If it no work, it no work. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, it's not like get them woman they date. Mm -hmm. if I, she don't forget talk say oh some man picking no day for my life or I mm -hmm. need date and stuff like that. I be wait. I be lesbian or I be waiting. <laughs> no, would he date? Would he date? And when we did to define that people then two way they feel take care of we they feel like. support we they feel mm -hmm. support we to would do, do. Mm -hmm. because I know I know at the level for my life mm -hmm. the type the brain I be I be um date people the way now people the way I want yeah, so far ahead with them before go so please <laughs> now time I be still young I don't really pay my dues so right now so if you not stand fine mm -hmm. I know feed them me with you mm -hmm. and not just so a day mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. at the end of the day. <laughs> we'll get to elevate each other. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, I know get to right. struggle for the horse my horse, so I then can't take care of some man picking some play. No, if they even hear that one don't blast me for social media. So really get fine so if they go fine and stuff, I hate them. Now wait to hear. So well at the end of the day, hey, people then feel always get their conception with the one time about we actress them. Mm -hmm. They feel always get their conception them. You know, if you know your truth, now all that way in matter. Mm -hmm. You live your life, mm -hmm. you date if you get a date. Mm -hmm. You marry if you want married. Mm -hmm. If you work, you work. If you no work, life goes on. Yeah. You get into relationship. If you work, you work. If you no work, life goes on, yeah. and you move on. Oh, At the end of the day, you be human being. You that know, you no know, be special past the other human being. Then the only difference now say you did for entertainment. We, you know, you did for public eye. I just yeah. all that. Yeah. All that. So besides all the things that we don't tell you, all that thing we what the what the wait up from every hmm. productions. And big glow. I think so I don't really Big speak or sing. Mad Mad John Liver. So incorrect. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, plenty. Uh, thank definitely. you. We'll host you again for better top. So that time we don't do that production when it comes. No, definitely. Because again, we can't sell them. No. <laughs> <laughs> Mad Kamba, we can't sell the production. No. Exactly. So, no. Thank you so thank much for inviting me. Thank you. Bye. Bye.